Hello, YouTube, and I'm Zach. This is part two of my Let's Play I started a week ago. Sorry, I've been away for a little while, but I got back yesterday. I had a couple videos yesterday. Cut us from Saturday 12 here, and this is Let's Play War the Roman Empire Part Two. Sorry, I'm tired. Really tired. Uh, trips are very tiring. So, we are... Continue campaign. Learn the basics of oh. city building while creating your first functional town. We have to go through the tutorial a little bit again. Greetings, Governor. Here you will learn how to take care of your citizens and build great and prosperous cities. To continue, click on the flashing button at the top of the screen. If you've seen the first video, you'll know this is not a blind let's play. I've gotten far in this. The text you just opened is a notification. It's important to keep a lookout for notifications, as they contain valuable information about problems in your city, as well as current events. To continue, close this notification by clicking on the X button in the upper right corner of this window. You can freely move the camera around by moving the mouse cursor to the edges of the screen. You can also zoom in or out by using the mouse wheel. Hold the middle mouse button or the shift key and move the mouse to see how the camera rotates. Try it out. I just gotta skate with. When there is an event of major importance, an I button will appear at the upper left corner of the notification. Pressing it will automatically take you to the area in question. Currently, your town has only one building, the town hall. Press the I button to go there. Mm -hmm. Oh. Every selected building provides information about the city Sorry. and its inhabitants. The town hall, for example, shows important information about the population and employment levels in the panel on the right. If you look at the panel, you will see that no citizens live in your town yet. To deselect the town hall and see the mini-map again, left-click an empty area on the ground. You can receive additional information about the town hall or any other selected building or citizen by using the help button in the information panel. Gotcha. Now it's time to build your first house. Now, from the build menu, yeah, you just select right the basic sub-menu and from it, select house. Uh, you just right click the ground and this will come up. You click the basic house. Place the house on the suggested spot, Governor. Mouse wheels Please rotation. Please take a look at the instructions on the right for more details. If you All accidentally right. cancel the construction, you may need to start over. There's also this... Uh, arrow keys will also move around if you're more used to arrow keys. Let's try W... Oh, WASD works too. You can see how your slaves carry resources to the building site. Slaves are very important for making the town run smoothly. The town relies on them for transporting goods from one place to another. A really large way. city would require many slaves. You can see how... Alright. That's for later. The houses don't take long to build in this game, but it's the things that are huge, like, uh, universities and sun temple gods. Well, a temple of the sun god. That takes a lot of to time. To provide the steady supply of timber your town needs, you must build a woodcutter's lodge. Find it in the build menu. Under right production and workshop. Production and workshop. And build one over the suggested spot now. 
and boop. While you are waiting for the building to be completed, you can use the toggle speed button from the menu on the left to make time run faster. Clicking on the same button again will bring time back to normal. Mm -hmm. This is quick speed. Ooh. They're running around like mice on the floor. Go, 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 go. Yeah, the resources you start out with in part one. When a production building is completed, one or more of your citizens will automatically go there and start working. Take a moment to watch how your woodcutter arrives at the woodcutter's lodge and begins his work. He's already way out there. Yeah, an ordinary man walked out of this house, walked to the woodcutter lodge and became... Hip. He's 29 years old. You just left click him to find out his... I don't know. Going to the well. You can order them to go to work. Go and fulfill your current needs. Building a town seems an easy task now, Governor. But what you have done so far is just a small part of city building. Your citizens have needs that must be fulfilled. Amongst the most basic of needs are food and water. You must now build a wheat farm so your citizens will not become ill from lack of food. Okay. Boot action. Oh. Let's make it easy to get to. And women do work on the farms and the all the farms and they help have children and we have to re-go through this tutorial and we lost the last child we have a goose is going to walk into their house I wonder how this is gonna go ah, uh, ooh. looks like they have a second story up there oh yeah there he goes cutting away Actually, this is really nice graphics. Oh, I've meaning to say, or I, I think I've said it before, but I haven't said it. In addition to flour, your citizens also need meat to be content. And making your citizens content is what you're here for, aren't you? Meat is produced by building a pig farm. Build one now. Uh, about Age of Empires 2. A lot of people I told that I would do something like Age of Empires 2, but what I'm using isn't compatible with it. It ends up coming gray screen every time it hits the part where I'm going into gameplay. The audio is still there and everything. Oh! Valentina is the first child born. She's in perfect health. And she's playing all day long. And she has a yo yo. This is. Valentina's a pretty name. She wants to play all day long. One girl. She's the only kid in town. I might do a special where I show you what it is out of the tutorial and out of campaigns and everything. Oh, and there is enemies in this. There's barracks and there's siege. There's all kinds of destruction and enslavement. It can happen to you or it can happen to the barbarians. You will find a lot of small barbarian villages or big ones. And sometimes you come across, very rarely, a barbarian city, which is hard to take down. And... The new farms you have just built have created job vacancies. To fill these job vacancies, you will need to increase the population of your town. Four houses should be enough for the current size of the town. Once built, your mission will be complete. Uh, okay. Uh, 
I'm going to end the video here because I'm not sure my timer picked up over the game. So, Claudia's about a 12 out. This has been part two of Glory of the Roman Empire. There it goes.